Well, tonight has been a very interesting night, and yet, the night is still young, things are still happening, events are still taking place all over the internet. I had a very interesting stream tonight. Tonight was Friday, it's usually the night where we do our live podcast on this channel, and an hour into the podcast, we had been discussing Chris Hansen when we got the breaking news that Leafy is here, is now banned from YouTube. His channel was taken down for bullying and harassment, which tells me that either a large group of people have flagged his channel down, or YouTube has explicitly chosen to take his channel down. Whichever, you know, method happened, I don't really think it matters. All we know is that Leafy was taken down for bullying and harassment. And although his channel may come back, you know, he has Keemstar on his side, he's got connections, he might be able to get his channel back. The th you know, the statement's been made. YouTube, for a while, has been making a statement uh, against commentary YouTubers, against people that they deem as harassers of the platform. Earlier this year, my channel actually got demonetized. Now, thankfully, I was able to get reinstated once YouTube took a second look at my channel and realized that I'm not a harassing creator. But my channel was demonetized for a couple months because YouTube deemed me as a harassment channel. I'm sure, you know, my subscribers know the story, but I'm just telling, you know, anyone new who stumbles across my channel... Uh, Things are bad for YouTube and for the commentary community. Um, I had a lot of viewers on my stream tonight. I had about 2,500 viewers tonight, all uh, having a go at the Leafy Sir situation. When I first heard the news that Leafy got banned, I assumed all of the opinions, all of the conversation about the topic would be pretty unanimous. That being that the ban is bad, and regardless of what you think of Leafy's content, this is not a good thing for YouTube overall. But instead, I saw a lot of back and forth. Many people sharing the same sentiment I just shared, but others saying that this is a good thing, and that bullying and harassing creators like Leafy deserve to go, and this is just the first step in the right direction. What this right direction even is, I don't know. I guess a platform where nobody's allowed to make fun of each other, which is strange to me because H3H3 Productions has bullied Trisha Paytas for her looks, but nobody's arguing for him to go. It's Leafy that has to go because he bullied poor, sweet, innocent Pokemon, I guess? We're in an era now where you can't even make fun of somebody's looks. Not to say that making fun of someone's looks is a very nice thing to do, but comedy of, of people's looks, you know, comedy at the expense of other people, especially other bigger creators and bigger talent, has been accepted for forever. And now we live in an era where this is seen as like a step too far, which is crazy to me. Again, making fun of somebody's looks is not a very nice thing to do, but t to live in an era where this is now seen as like a huge thing, like you're like you know, making fun of somebody's looks is almost as bad as, like, racism nowadays. Like, it, it just doesn't make much sense to me. A lot of the streamer reactions have been pretty bad. However, somebody who had a very good reaction to the take, uh, a very smart reaction, rather, was Pokemon, where she simply said all she had to say, which was, I know I'm going to get asked this, so I'd like to clarify, I had nothing to do with Levy's ban. Regardless of what you think of that situation, optically, this is a very good response, because that's all she needs to say. She doesn't need to voice an opinion on the situation or anything like that. All she needs to say is, hey guys, I didn't do it before you ask. Very good optical response. The other responses have been horrible. Let's take a look at Mr. Pro Jared, Mr. Anti-Cancel Culture, a guy who was eaten by the mob who's now participating in the mob against Leafy. Very strange. He says, There is no loss of Leafy getting banned from YouTube. I feel no pity for content creators whose sole existence was to bully other people. Really? Leafy's sole existence was to bully other people? You know, people point out that Leafy made like 20 videos on Pokemon, but the joke was, he was barely talking about Pokemon in the actual videos. He would open up talking about Pokemon, and then he would go into a five minute spiel about selling his merch, or talking about Excel spreadsheets, and talking about his uh, stock trading. Like that, the video would, the videos would diverge into other very mundane topics while using Pokemon as clickbait. Like the joke was, oh boy, here's another leafy Pokemon video. And to say that all they were were just making fun of her appearance, I mean, calling her a two out of ten, is that the biggest crime in the world now? Really now? I, Pro Jared, you want to tell me you've never made fun of somebody's appearance on YouTube? I don't believe that. And again, making fun of someone's appearance is so bad. All right, kick off H3H3. H3. You know, kick off iDubs. Kick off Filthy Frank. Every time a Filthy Frank video goes down, people are rightfully enraged. People are like, hey, this is bad. Filthy Frank's videos were great. Why are you taking these down? But when Leafy goes down, suddenly it's the end of the world. Um, or, or, or rather, suddenly it's it's a great thing. Yes, we must champion this. Leafy must go down. Really? So people you don't like gotta go down. That just, why? 
And, and I can understand, like, regular people being happy that Leafy got banned. I can get that. But YouTubers, they should be smart enough to see the bigger picture on the uh, on the wall. Uh, Leafy getting banned is not is not a good thing for anyone. Uh, if you're a YouTuber especially, you should be able to see that Leafy getting banned is just the, uh, the door to other people getting banned that you actually like. I mean, even Carlos Maza had to learn the lesson the hard way when he was uh, arguing for channels to get demonetized like Steven Crowder. Eventually, his own friends started getting demonetized as well. When you open the door to uh, channels getting banned on YouTube, and when you open the door to censorship, it will always come back to bite you or someone you likes in the ass. And people, ha it's like they have to learn this lesson the first time every single time. Asman Gold had a retarded take. He says, hopefully the leafy ban is only the beginning of YouTube taking action on channels whose content is primarily at the expense of others. Harassment veiled as criticism. I guess night show hosts that take shots at Trump every night, they, they don't, they don't get banned. They get promoted. They get put on the trending page. But Leafy, nah, he's too far. As if Leafy even is like, cl even close to being the worst channel on YouTube in terms of harassment or what's going too far. I mean, Jesus, he barely scratches the surface. My friend Bobox points out, you know, rightfully so, uh, a list of channels with content at the expense of others. H3, iDubs, Critical, Some Ordinary Gamers, Mudahar, PewDiePie. The list goes on. Now, maybe some of these Twitch streamers would be fun with PewDiePie getting banned. You know, who knows? But I'm pretty sure if uh, Critical got banned, or if iDubs got banned, or if, especially if H3 got banned, then people would have an issue with that. But when Leafy gets banned, this is a step in the right direction. It's like these people don't have brains. Although, to be fair to Asmongold, he is a Twitch streamer. He doesn't really care about YouTube, so it kind of makes sense why he would come out with a statement like this. Here's Slasher, who initially broke the story in a neutral manner. He then said, seeing a whole lot of Keemstar next in the replies, almost goading uh, Keemstar on. Uh, Bulblax again in the replies, how about, we di how about we don't call for the termination of people with opinions we dislike? He says, I'm just reading out what other people are tweeting. You know, you know that, don't you? Obviously, you know, trying to play it off like this isn't a subtle call for Keemstar to get banned. Even if that's not what you intended, that's how it's going to be read. He then read here, I do not advocate for monolithic social media sites like YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook to deplatform people that have a huge amount of control. However, you generally have to do something pretty severe or extremely stupid to get permanently banned off one, and it's usually deserved, implying that the leaf use here ban was deserved. Matter of fact, you know, we don't even need to read between the lines here. He literally told Boblax in DMs he thinks Leafy deserved to be banned. I mean, okay, that's your take. Uh, just come out and say it. Don't be a pussy. Don't pussyfoot around it. Just say what you really are thinking. You you think Leafy deserved to get banned. You're kind of dancing around it here, but in DMs, you're perfectly fine telling people, yeah, I think Leafy should have been banned. Just be honest. Have a spine. Stand by your words. Stand by your opinions. Why are you so afraid to tweet them out? Here's a screenshot of me going at somebody. Uh, this is Shannon Z. Killer. She's a Twitch streamer. She said, nothing of value was lost. Uh, this girl, in case you don't know, was the same person that tweeted out, Dr. Disrespect is done, and not just on Twitch, I know why and cannot say, but this is serious. Of course, I had to tweet back at her, because I had actually recognized her, I remembered who she was, and I said, what happened to Dr. Disrespect? You claimed that he was never coming back, and implied that he had committed a horrible felony. What's up with that? And, of course, my tweet got uh, almost 3,000 likes, to which I was firmly blocked within, like, a minute of writing this where I wrote, what's wrong, bitch? I better be careful now, because apparently me saying the word bitch might even be seen as harassment. Even though I'd say it to a dude, just the same. I swear to God, man. Finally, Brittany Venti points out H3, H3, and his other response. He's been kind of gloating at Leafy getting banned, which is unsurprised. I mean, Leafy is here was kind of using the, oh, I'd love to see him survive in a, in, in the current climate, uh, type meme or whatever. So it is fair for H3 to clown on him back, at least when he's getting banned. But funnily enough, H3 actually banned me tonight while I was streaming. Matter of fact, I had loaded up H3's Twitter page, refreshed it as soon as I loaded it up, and when I refreshed, I got blocked, which strongly suggests to me that he was watching my stream tonight which would make sense because he's seen my show before he's actually sourced my show in his content nuke against keemstar well he blocked me and nick 
as well as Turkey Tom, someone who's made a critical video on him, a gamer from Mars who said, not going to lie, getting blocked by Ethan Klein kind of hurt since I looked up to him for so long, but now it's clear the only reason he follows such talk to me was that he hoped I'd turn on Keemstar uh, and friends for his own benefit. Me standing up for free speech showed that that wouldn't happen. He even blocked Boblax, who he actually followed before he blocked him. Boblax wrote, I thought we were on friendly terms. Oh, well, hopefully he doesn't try calling me racist on Twitter again. He blocked me and Nick as well. Nick didn't even tweet at him. And, you know, it's almost like he's, like, begging for people to accuse him of this. Not that I think he did anything, mind you. But it's almost like he wants people to think that. You know, Leafy gets cancer. Uh, this is what Brittany Venti writes. Leafy gets censored and banned from YouTube. Everyone suspects it's H3. H3 proceeds to celebrate on Twitter. He then proceeds to block the entire commentary community. Considering the circumstances, it's seeming more and more like he did dirt and then ran. I'm not going to go that far. I mean, it's still speculation at the end of the day. But what I will say, and it's something I said on Twitter right here, it's almost like Ethan wants people to accuse him. What's going on, big guy? What's going on, Ethan? Again, I don't think Ethan or even Pokemon did anything. It just looks suspicious more and so on Ethan's part. Um, but potentially, I guess, Pokemon as well. I mean, really, anyone could have banned him. It could have been a whole mob of people, maybe not even just creators. At the end of the day... I do think Leaf will get his account back, but this does set a pretty horrid picture for all of us, and it shows a lot of true colors. Twitch streamers and even some YouTubers want us banned. Why? Because we hold them accountable. And yeah, we might have some fun doing it, you know, going for the personal jabs, the ad, the, the ad hominem attacks and all of that, but is that not allowed? Because it seems to be allowed when it happens to, or when creators you like use ad hominems but when we do it while we're holding you accountable suddenly it's a problem and suddenly it has to be outright banned not even just censored you know slightly you know delisted or something like that no it needs to be outright banned what the fuck is wrong with you people